eye contact. Now, when you're thinking, it's a hard, it's a tricky time to know what to do with our eye contact. So when we're actually presenting, ideally, we want to be making eye contact with everybody as we're speaking. What's hard is if we're trying to remember something, and then we present more. Now, what you didn't do, which some people do, is look down, which is really difficult for an audience. If you look down, the audience just, they switch off, almost immediately, and they go, oh, I'm gonna check my phone. Oh, they're not looking for just one minute, I'm gonna look at my phone. What's, what some people do instead is to look up. Now, looking up is okay, but better if you can look up just above people's heads. I, really, I agree it's hard to look at people, eye contact, if you're thinking. But rather than look up here to think, if you try and look just between people or just above their heads, then we still stay in relationship with you. As soon as you go up there, we lose relationship with you. So yeah, a really important point. What did we think of eye contact? Did people feel included by the eye contact here? Yeah, over here yes, over here not so much. No. There was no eye contact when she looked around. Okay. So very, it was fair. Very, very, very good observation. There's a difference between looking around and between making eye contact. I agree. Zaid looked around. Great. Which is a lot more than a lot of people do. But did he really make eye contact? Now, if you, if you look at the way I'm talking now, and when I'm communicating, I'm actually, for a moment, does it not feel like, just for a moment, that you and I are the only people in this conversation, just for a moment. Perhaps not for very long, but it's, can you see, the, can you feel the difference between me actually having a conversation with you and me kind of talking like this and looking at everybody, but not really looking at anybody? Can you feel the difference? Can you feel, as an audience, how it feels different? How does it feel, as an audience, when, when someone actually speaks to you? Someone actually, for a moment, like you're the only important person in the room. Connected. Connected, exactly. How long do you think... What's the advantage... So the audience feels connected, right? If you do that. Do you think there's an advantage to you as a speaker if you do that? What? You gain the attention of the audience. You feel engaged. Mm. Exactly. I mean, that's the most important thing. So you feel the engagement from the audience. But from an even more selfish point of view, you want to bring people to your story. Absolutely. And bring them to your realm like that. So you need to keep them engaged. Absolutely. Yeah. But from an even more selfish I point of view. Acknowledgement of what you're saying. So it's all attention. It's attention, for sure. When we stand up and look at when we stand up in front of people, how do we usually feel? Nervous. 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 For sure. Do you think that's a normal reaction to standing in front of people? Yes. yes. Do you think that's something we should say, oh, I shouldn't feel nervous. Why do I feel nervous? <laughs> it's totally normal. You would be not a human being if you stood in front of a group of people you didn't know, looking out to them, and you don't feel nervous. That would be strange. Why do we feel nervous? Any idea? Expectations. Expectations, for sure. But purely biologically, we actually feel nervous because it is a purely scientific response. Back in the cave days, or old days, when we were living out in the desert, in the caves, whatever, um, if we stood in front of people and we had 5, 10, 15, 20, 200 people looking at us, what do you think it meant? Enemy. Enemy. It means there's a lion behind me, <laughs> for sure. Or a man with a spear. Evolutionary, evolutionarily, our brains are programmed to think that if people are looking at us, more than one person, more than maybe two, if they are looking at us, there is some danger. So we have a biological response, which is fight or flight. And fight or flight is not what we're going to do here. So we have this energy that's preparing us to run away from the lion, or to fight the lion, but we're not doing anything with it. So what happens? We feel nervous. Our heart rate goes up, our breathing rate goes up, we feel sweaty, we maybe even shake. It's totally normal. We can't stop it from happening, right? Somebody once said that um, when we speak in front of an audience, it is normal to have butterflies in your tummy. You know that expression? Yes. The trick is to try to get the butterflies all flying in the same direction. 
<laughs> so when we're standing up and people are looking at us, we will feel nervous. There's nothing we can do about that. However, it is scientifically proven that if you make eye contact with one person so that you feel for a moment that you are in relationship with a person in the audience, you're automatically, the nerves will actually start to dry down. Physical eye contact actually activates the parasympathetic nervous system. Any biologists will know what we're talking about. The system that slows us down, that calms us down, that slows down the breathing, that slows down the heart rate, that makes us feel safe and relaxed. So selfishly, from our own personal experience as a presenter, if we can make eye contact so that we feel for a moment that we have a relationship with one person, a mini conversation with just one person, not only will the audience feel engaged, and not just that one person, when I'm speaking really, really relatedly to one person, everyone else is also in that relationship. But not only will it make them feel more engaged with what I'm saying, but it will make me feel more relaxed. So how long do you think we need to look at someone in order to have a relationship, to make eye contact? Two seconds. Two seconds? That, that feels like quite long, right? One, two. Less than 10 seconds. Yeah, so I would say probably it's been shown that about three seconds is ideal. Now trust me, when you're up here, three seconds will feel like the longest time in the world. Yeah. And it really, really will. It is so tempting to say, okay, I've made eye contact with everybody. Great, I'm done. Yeah? Does it feel like you're having a relationship with me right now? Does it now feel like you're having a relationship with me? When I actually pause on you for one, two, three seconds, and then I speak to someone else for one, two, three seconds. And if someone looks away, that's fine, just move to someone else. If I have an actual conversation with you for three seconds, everyone else is also included, but automatically it totally changes the energy in the room. 